The Bye Bye Cafe. How much does your buy cost? I'll take one of those buys. All right, another one. Go, 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 go. Here, this is good. Take one with, with uh, Basil too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just take it out. Right. <laughs> we believe in this bye bye right, coffee man. stuff, man. Nice. Good. See? That's where you buy coffee at. No, you, that's where you buy goodbyes at. No, How much do your goodbyes right. cost? <laughs> Actually, Nick, if you threaten me, I'll slit your throat in your sleep. I don't mean it this time. Yeah, no more just yeah. taking toes. Okay. No I, I always like to put the camera so that the yeah, me too. Idea, yeah. so that they get an even light. Well, they, they yeah, like Nick, them. your composition sucked anyways. Wooka <laughs> 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 wooka. God, when I kill you, it's gonna be so sweet. <laughs> This guy is a wild one. Look, King Long. <laughs> yeah, baby, King Long. <laughs> Long dong silver. You got some tea. It's good. Would you like to try it? Yeah. Kidding. I'm gonna drink out of his. That's cool. I've never seen a I've never seen a cup with a handle. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. It's got a handle he and a lid. Yeah, had a cup. That's awesome. Yeah. The Chinese tea. Oh, Chinese. Did you say what kind of bugs are those? <laughs> you, can, you can refill it with hot water, yeah? Yeah. They, you, you reuse the leaves many times. Reuse the cup? Yes, right. Yeah. Many okay. times. Until, you know, the color changes. Okay. Try it. Shu Ye. Shu Ye. You can't do it. You can't do it. Shu Ye. This is the same thing. This is the same thing. That's why I need some green tea. <laughs> Totally. Oh, yeah? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
that's what all it's getting. Now that I'm not like married, I'm going to get laid in my shop yeah. all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Take advantage of it. See, so, so is what hypocrites are people are. Because they will take one more if it's one of them. Yeah. But it's like once you get caught in a lie, people won't. You know, if you lie once, people will never believe you again. Fascinating. The more of these places we go to, the less I care. So they all look alike. <laughs> yeah, they do. We're going to a temple. Yeah. I'd, rather, I'd rather go see the people in the city. I'm a rebel without a cause. Yeah, we got I got a cause for you, Dave. Yeah. In, in yeah, no being dumb. I do. Yes, I do, sir. Can I get that from you, boy? Yes, you can. How many waters are you going to buy me? Oh, I buy you 20 water. Not 20. 20 water. I trade you one Red Bull for five water. <laughs> How does that sound to you? I eat them. I don't I live in mouth. Zach, is it a deal? Yeah. What? Five water. <laughs> Five water and dibs on my other Red Bulls. As soon as I get a change, I'll give it to you. Come on, let's <laughs> I haven't bought anything yet. I can fucking buy something and give you some change. I'll get you change today, don't worry. We'll have a. I'll tell him 20 yen. 20 <coughs> How do you like your souvenir? It's nice. It's nice? Yeah. What do you All get? Right, huh? What do you get? I'm just helping him to, uh, you know, buy some souvenirs. <laughs> you like it, huh? I don't know what it is, but... Uh, where is it? Sifu, where's Dave Sr.? Huh? Dave Sr.? There they are. There they are. Dave Sr. Oh. Joe and Dave. <laughs> <laughs> what have you got? We had an NPC. What have you got? The Tiger. We almost, we almost left without you, Dave. R60 R-E-R-B-M. R-E-M's. 60 R-E-M's. Not bad. <laughs> It's getting warmer. It's already up two degrees, Sivo. It's getting warmer. Thank God. Are we staying in the city today? All day or what? No, today, later on, we're going back to the city. Oh. We're driving out.
special stuff. No, they don't. Okay, now we are leaving the city. Drive far away from the city, about 100 kilometers. We are going to the we are going to the Fami Temple, Fami Temple, the first you know, temple in Shanxi Province. It has about two thousand years old. Two thousand years old. Let's take a look. In the 1985, 1985, of the discovered the Sakamoni relics. You know Sakamoni, the founder of the Buddhism, Buddhism in China. The most popular religion is a Buddhism. Buddhism. Second one is a Islam. Islam. Third one is a Christianity. Christianity. Fourth one is a Chinese origin religion. Taoism. Taoism. Because Taoism is so different from the other religions. Taoism has a lots of gods, like gods of the tree, gods of the Tao, god of the heaven, god of the earth. But the other religions just believe in the one God, one founder. But Taoism, a lot of gods. So today in China, Taoism is not popular, not popular. And instead of that, Buddhism is most popular. So everyone now, Buddhism was found in India about sixth century BC, sixth century BC. About two thousand years ago, Buddhism introduced it to China through the Silk Road. From that time, lots of monks from India tried to spread Buddhism in China. In China, but at the very beginning, about 2000, like the Qin Dynasty, 2200 years ago, some monks, some Indian believers, Buddhists, came to China. They tried to, uh, you know, recommend you know Buddhism, but the Chinese people didn't accept that. Accept that. So. That's a farming temple. You know, that time several uh, Buddhists buried, buried Sakamori's relics in a uh, uh, farming temple, that area, that area. So buried the Sakamori's relics over there. So until later, you know, people uh, started believing in this religion and paid more attention to that place, that place. So in the 1985, over the discovery that, you know, <coughs> Sakamori's relics, that place became the famous, became the famous. So in the future, of there will be, become the capital of the Buddhi, Buddhism, Buddhism okay. capital of Buddhist world. Fami Temple, Fami Temple. Fami is a Chinese name. That means approach of the uh, Buddhism, approach, of, approach to the Buddhism, Buddhism. So also we can translate it into it's a master step, it's a, it's a master door for the Buddhist. For the Buddhist farming temple, farming temple. So let's take a look. This is a, a typical Buddhist temple. Buddhist temple in in China. This temple is so famous, just the famous for the Sakamoni's relics. You know, the founder of the Buddhism, Sakamoni, when he was died, his his body was separated. You know, about uh. uh Okay, 80, 84,000 pieces, 84,000 pieces, and uh, the believers took his, his in a relics and uh, traveled all over the world, try to, uh, try to, uh, you know, spread his religions, religions. That time, about 20 pieces, 20 pieces came to China, was bright into China. China were brought into China, so I built a lot of place. So nowadays we just find this, this place, the other place we didn't know where it is, by the way, where it is. Just here, we dis discovered one piece, one piece. It's a finger relics of the Sakamori, of the Sakamori, yeah. Can you have You know what I, what I see? Yeah.
So also, you know, uh, in, in, you know, uh, the Islam introduced the China about uh, in the eighth century. In the eighth century. So in China, Islam, Islam, you know, uh, in Shia, just in Shia, lots of Muslims, Muslims, especially in the West region, on Islam, uh, nearby the Silk Road, Silk Road, lots of Muslims, Muslims. So in Shia, it's about 700,000 Muslims. Muslims, they lived in the, the some area nearby the Jam town of the Muslims culture. Muslims culture, they live there. Is a cloudy. Is cloudy. Yeah. Okay, we are going to have a two-hour driving. So, take a break. So, uh, both side is a different, uh, different, you know, side scene. Different, you know, from yesterday. From yesterday, you can see the villagers, villagers, and uh, uh, in the west side of the city. Far away, that place famous for the you know um, cooking Chinese cooking. We we see the guo kui guo kui is a huge is a huge cookie you know cookie like this huge cookie also famous for the noodles. So during our lunch we try some local food local food very interesting. Also famous for the tofu do you know tofu? Yeah, yeah. incredible yeah tofu that place tofu is good. Yeah. Try it try it. Yeah, famous for that. Anyway, you try to you know come to food. Okay, uh, okay. Hello, hello. Can I sing a song? Yes. Can you? Can you sing a song? Yes, you can sing a song together. I want to listen to the voice. Do you have the team team song like a uh, yes, white jacket theme song? What's your name? Dave Junior. Yeah. You want to sing a song? <laughs> Let me play a little Disney on my new flute. Hey, uh, Dallas. Okay. No problem. Dallas Come Junior. On. Yeah, yeah. Can you do your little uh? Pit boxing? Yeah, yeah. Alright, hold on. Okay. Come here, come here. Little demonstration. Oh, yeah, yeah. Finally. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thank <laughs> you. 
Classic story of my life. Ten years ago. Uh, I know which one. You know which one? Which one I'm talking about? Yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> okay, it's ten o'clock at night, right? <clears throat> Before the class closed. So a couple of visitors coming to the school, right? I want to check out the school. I say, all right, well, Dave, what's the sub G out? So Dave's like, okay. He walk into this, walk step in the middle of school. So two guys like a will seriously like expecting some kind of awesome demonstration, right? They were like real serious and real tough looking. Like, oh yeah! And then the first move, and all of a sudden, a big old burger about five inches long just pop out of his nose. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh, excuse me. <laughs> and the, the, the two visitors watching this, like, Damn, that's that's real intense, man. <laughs> <laughs> that's the most intense form I've ever seen. Like, big old long burger just right on your forearm. <laughs> what other story do we have here? You got a tiny story, Dave. You got to bust a couple out, man. All right, joke, joke. Anybody have a good joke? Bill, bust it out with Joe. I'll think of one. I think of one? Yeah, yeah, hey, uh, I got an Italian joke. Okay. Come on out here. All right. Take turns to do a performance. All right. All right. All right. Hey. What's up? Will? All right. So, all right, now, why is uh, Italy shaped in the, the shape of a boot? I don't know why, Dallas. He can't, he can't fit that much shit in a shoe. Uh, <laughs> okay. You guys might have some more racist joke. Do my do my racist joke? No offense, huh? No offense, black or white or Samoan Mexican. 
You know why Tiger Wood called Tiger Wood? Uh, <laughs> 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 Nobody asked me why, though. Uh, <laughs> no fans, okay? He's half Thai and half nigger. Is that what it is? <laughs> Damn, Tiger Wood. Do you know why there's no Me no Olympic game in Mexico City? Why? Because all the guy can win, swim and can jump. They are in America. <laughs> <laughs> well, do you know um do you know how to buy for a Chinese guy? Put a windshield wiper in front of them. Oh no, put a windshield in front of them. <laughs> Get, what? Camouflage? Dental floss. Dental floss. <laughs> okay, yeah, here we go, here we go, here we go. You know it's 12 inches and white? What? what? Nothing. <laughs> you know, how many of you guys here the Hong Kong Dong joke? It's been a fucking... I'm sure Basil and... Winston haven't heard the Hong Kong dong yet. <laughs> <laughs> you heard the Hong Kong dong? No. <laughs> okay. okay. Three people walking in the jungle, right? They're traveling. Walking, keep walking, keep walking. Walking in the jungle. And they get captured by a, a group of savage. And the savage people, okay, you know, you guys are not allowed to come into our village. You're going to have to get punished. And the three people like, holy shit, get punished. What kind of punishment am I going to get? So the leader say, okay. You have two choices. One, you, uh, oh, that's the Unga Bunga one. Yeah. One, you're going to get a death penalty. The second one, you're going to get a, pen, a punishment called the Unga Bunga. So the guys are, what the fuck is Unga Bunga? First guy comes out, the leader says, okay, you choose death penalty or Unga Bunga? The guy's like, I don't want to die. I choose Unga Bunga. Okay, all of a sudden a big old savage come out, pull his pen down, starting to fucking his ass. Unga bunga, unga bunga, unga bunga. <laughs> the guy, real painful, but he got his duty though. The second guy comes out, and the leader say, you want a unga bunga or death penalty? The guy's like, I don't want people to fuck my ass, but I don't want to die. So I choose a unga bunga. Second big old savage come out, starting to pull his pen down, starting to fucking his ass. Unga bunga, unga bunga, unga bunga. Third guy comes out, okay, you want to choose death penalty or unga bunga? The guy's like, I don't want to die. Well, I don't want to, somebody fuck my ass. I choose death penalty. Okay, death penalty by unga bunga. <laughs> okay, the Hong Kong down one. So the Hong Kong down one's for you, Dave. For your, your father. So he knows what's Hong Kong down now. This guy traveled all over Asia, sleep with a lot of prostitutes, and he caught a disease. When he go back to America, he's like, God damn, I caught some shit in Asia. And every time I pee, I feel like a, you know, razor blade coming out. So we went to see a doctor, and he check up. The doctor's like, oh, God, you got some shit here. So what is it? This is called Hong Kong Dong. And the guy's like, can you fix it, doctor? I can't do anything. You have to imitate your penis. The guy's like, what? I don't want to imitate my penis. No, 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 no. He doesn't believe it. He go to see a second doctor. Hey, doc, I got Hong Kong dong. Can you fix it? Doctor's like, wow. It looks like you have to imitate it. And the guy's like, no, 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 no. That cannot be the only result. The only thing can fix my shit. So, well, this is an Asian disease. I'm going to go see an Asian doctor. So he went to a Chinese doctor. Hey, doc. I got Hong Kong dong. Can you fix it? The doctor take a look. Wow, this is pretty serious shit. <laughs> but are you gonna imitate it? The guy said, no, you don't have to. Fall off in a couple more days. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> come on, come on, come on. <laughs> there we go. Here we go. Everybody take turns now. Bust out jokes. Alright, so I walks into a doctor's office. The doctor says the doctor says, I need a blood, stool, semen, and urine sample. And the guy says, well, I'm in kind of a hurry. Can I just leave my underwear?
All right, so a guy's walking through the woods, right? He's enjoying nature and hiking and shit. And he starts hearing the sound of this little kid crying, like off in the distance. So he follows the sound and he gets to the top of this cliff and there's this little boy about four years old just sitting at the top of the cliff just crying his eyes out. So he goes up to him and he's like, you know, what's wrong? Why are you crying? The kid's like, well, my dad fell down the cliff and my mom tried to grab him and she fell down too and now they're both dead. The guy looks at the little boy, puts his hand on his shoulder, whips his dick out, and says, Damn, kid, it ain't your day. Zap! Zap! What, what's the one for Jewish? What's a couple of them? Which one is that penny one? Uh, the penny one told me why I was. How was it? <laughs> What's the biggest Jewish dilemma? I don't know. Free ham. I can't hear that. That was so good. Dave, how about a couple? I can't think of any. But you got all kinds of jokes, man. <laughs> This one, I don't know. Uh, this guy was hanging out in the bar. Talking to a bartender, like, man, I wish I can drink more alcohols, you know. I'm, I stopped drinking a long time ago. My wife don't allow me. Oh, and the bartender's like, well, you know, there's a way you can drink alcohol without getting in trouble when you go home. So I said, like, how? Okay, first of all, you drink three shots of vodka. Three shot of tequila, three shot of whiskey, and a couple other things, whatever you want to drink. Get yourself drunk. You go home, before you eat, before your wife's saying anything, you just tear her apart and fuck the shit out. And I guarantee she's not gonna say anything. Oh really? Yeah, try it. So it's like, oh, I give a shot, I haven't drank for a long time. I haven't want to do this for a long time. So the bartender give him Exactly whatever he says. Three shots of vodka, three shots of tequila, three shots of uh, whiskey, and a bunch of other shit all mixed. So the guy gets really wasted. So he go home, right? Open the door. He do exactly what the bartender told him. He open the door quietly, open his bedroom door quietly, go inside and see his wife laying bed. Okay, I'm going to try to do the methods what the bartender told me. Should start busting out. Rip raw over that wife's clothes off and start fuck the shit out of her. That it works though, you know, his wife never say anything. After that, his wife get back, go back to bed and just keep sleeping. Like, wow, that works fine. I need to keep doing that shit more often. So, after that, he go into the bathroom. He sees his wife sitting in the toilet. He's like, Honey, what are you doing here? Like, Shh, don't wake up your grandma. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, see, let me clean up a sec here. Uh, here we go now. All right, all right, all right. The guy, the guy. Yeah, this is a small one. This is about some um, guys going through the Death uh, uh, Valley, all right? So they're driving through. Uh, yeah, 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 so, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So they, they, uh, they, they, the, the priest are there, man, run out of gas. 
So he stopped and decided to walk. And I reached out further. There's this rabbi. The rabbi's a good guy. He doesn't want to pee by the roadside or anything like that. So he wanted to pee. So he grabbed his chamber pot and go by the roadside and pee in it, a lot of it. And so he was bringing it back to the car. And the priest was walking to look gas. So he saw him, he says, my, I am not of your disposition, but I do admire your faith. <laughs> you don't get that, huh? Uh, no, he thought he was gonna pour the piss in the gas in the gas tank. Uh, okay. <laughs> Alright, this one is about a Jamaican in, in London. He went there running out of food and money and he find a way, God damn it man, I'm hungry as hell and I need to find some food. So he sees another white guy with an English guy and says, How are we gonna get some food? So the guy says, Hey, he said that guy did a nice suit, go ask him man. So he go ask the guy for some food. Guys, you know, I'm not gonna give you any food nor any money, but go to that restaurant at the corner. Just walk in and tell them you'd like to have some food. You're gonna have a meal. And when they come and bring the check to you, just get up and say, paid already, man, paid already. So the white guy says, okay, let's try it out. So he goes into the restaurant and the Jamaican guy's watching him. So he got the meal, sat down, ate the whole thing. And when the waitress brought the money, brought it, Billy says, paid already, paid already. And he walked out. So the waitress was there. Uh, so the Jamaican guy come in now and said, God, if it works, I'm gonna try it out. So he comes and he sat down, had his food. And then when the guy brought the, 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 the invoice, he says, paid already, paid already, and got up. The girl said, what do you mean paid already? He says, paid already. And I don't want to hear your problem about the guy. Just bring me my change. <laughs> uh, I got one, I got one. Alright, so I'm sitting on this plane there. It's, uh, it's about to take off, and uh, so we take off, and the pilot gives this whole spiel about, you know, alright, we're going to be cro traveling at a, cruising at a, you know, 300 whatever altitude, and, you know, we're going to have uh, slightly cloudy skies, and they're quiet for a bit. And uh, he thinks that the, the intercom thing is off, and he goes, he says to the other co pilot, he goes, man. All I need right now is a blowjob and a cup of coffee, and he doesn't realize that the intercom thing is on, so... Uh, the stewardess comes running down the aisle, and I go, Miss, don't forget the coffee! Oh, <laughs> What's the difference between a lawyer and a hooker? A hooker will stop screwing you and you're dead. <laughs> Okay, <clears throat> two guys traveling uh, to Europe, right? So uh, they're getting hungry. So they see a little tiny cable cars in the corner of the street. They walk up there, it's like, hey, what are you guys selling here? I'm hungry. That's like, I'm selling hot dogs here, buddy. That's oh, can I have one hot dogs? Can I have hot dogs? The guy's like, sure. So <clears throat> the guy uh, grabbed a piece, piece of bread a little hot dog in there, put some, um, you know, little sauce, a little ketchup, put it in his arm. <laughs> Here's a hot dog, buddy. The guy's like, damn, that's nasty. That's how you make a hot dog? He's like, man, what are you talking about nasty? This is delicious. You should see this guy down the street, how they make donuts. <laughs> <laughs> Any other joke? I got one. Ah, here we go, Dave! Come on! God damn it! <laughs> okay, okay. So there's a guy sitting at the bar and he's rapping with the uh, bartender. Sam. And he says to the bartender, he goes, You know what? I bet you $100 you set yourself a cup on the bar and I'm going to piss in the, in the glass without spilling a drop. Bartender says, "No way, you can't fucking piss in the in the glass without spilling." I said, "No, I can't. Bet you hundred bucks." Bartender says, "Fine, let's see it." So puts the glass up. Guy whips his dick out, starts pissing all over the bar. I mean, even getting any in the glass, he's just pissing all over. And the bartender's laughing. Oh my god! He goes, "I told you you couldn't you couldn't 
you know, piss in the glass. And, and the guy goes, that's okay, you know, here's your hundred bucks. He goes, because I bet those guys at that table there that I would piss all over your bar and you'd be laughing about it. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one. Uh, there's, there's one more that I don't really remember that well, so I'll try to do it. But there's a, uh, there's a couple of gay guys, right? And uh, they're in the bar and they're meeting some other people and they, they learned a new game. So they wanted to go home and, and try it out. So uh, the game was that they had the one would bend over and stick, and the other guy would stick something in his ass and have to try to guess what it is. <laughs> right? So they're all right, this is a great game. So the guy bends over and the uh, guy grabs a, a cucumber, sticks it in his ass. And the guy's like, ah, uh, that's a cucumber. He goes, yeah, yeah, that's right, that's right. And then, uh, then, he, then he grabs himself by a broomstick and, you know, he sticks it in his ass. And the guy's like, ah. Broomstick? And go, yeah, that's right. And, uh, and then uh, he grabs. That's how I always get stuck on this one. Uh, <laughs> uh, in the bathroom. In the bathroom. Uh, the, the, the plunger. The plunger? Yeah. Oh, you played that game, huh? Okay. Gay guys, right? <laughs> I got a good gay guy joke for you. Thanks, Steve. <laughs> okay. Three guys traveling into a little jungle. They got, okay, shit, I have to stay in the jungle overnight, you know. We didn't make it down to any hotel or anything. And they, um, they saw a little house in the middle of the woods. So they knocked the doors. So the old guy opened the door. What are you, what are you doing here? You know, three of you guys and fucking in midnight in the woods. So, well, we're looking for a place to stay. We got no place to stay. Um, can we stay in your house? So the farmer kind of like, a, you know, grow a lot of shit on the land. Yeah, sure, come on in here. And, um, but one thing I'm sure you guys don't do in my house, you know, my daughter's a little bit slow mentally. Don't take advantage on her, okay? Don't do anything and don't do anything stupid. I wake up in the morning, the retarded daughter, tell his dad, tell her dad, so, they fucked me and raped me last night. And the dad got so mad and furious. This three motherfucker, I'm gonna, this, I'm gonna punish the shit out of these three guys. Where are they? I think they went to the farm and trying to pick up some vegetables so they can eat on the way, they, on the way out. And the first guy comes back, they grab a bunch of bananas. And the farmer's like, you guys fucked my uh, daughter last night, gonna get punished. Bend over! And the guy's what? So the farmer bend those guys over. Then the first guy come in. Grab the Madonna, shovel in his ass. Push it, push it in. The guy's like, God damn, it hurts. And the um, second guy walks in. He picked up a lot of cucumbers. And the farmer forced him to do the same thing. Bend him over, put all those cucumbers in his ass. Push it all in. So where's the third guy? He's coming in and hold on to a couple of watermelons. <laughs> you know what's gonna happen. <laughs> Three hookers are sitting in a bar. First hooker says, I'm so loose you can stick a fist in me. Second hooker says, bitch you ain't shit. I'm so loose you can stick two fists in me. Third hooker's just about to say something when her stool disappears. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, tell, tell, tell them, say that one. Okay. 
there's a bear and a rabbit, and they're both taking a shit in the woods, right? And the bear's sitting there taking a shit, and the rabbit's taking a shit right next to him. And the bear's looking down at the little rabbit taking a shit, and he goes, you know something, Mr. Rabbit, I always wondered, do you get shit stuck in your fur? And the rabbit says, no, why? And the bear goes, <laughs> that's a rabbit. That's with the rabbit. That's a nasty one. Well, there's three midgets sitting in the Guinness Book, the office of the Guinness Book of World Records, right? They start talking. They're in the waiting room. The first midget says, "Yeah, man, I think I've got the smallest hands in the world." And they're like, "Yeah, man, you know, you've got pretty small hands, you know." It's like, "What about you?" It's like, "Oh, I've got the smallest feet in the world." Oh, that's cool. What about you? It's like, oh, I've got the smallest dick in the world. <laughs> so, the guy with the hands, he goes in there and they measure him and everything. He comes out and he's like, woohoo, I'm in the Guinness Book of World Records. I got the world's smallest hands. Like, the second guy goes in, he comes out, whoa, I got the smallest feet. The third guy comes walking out, just shaking his head. They're like, what's wrong, man? It's like, have you ever heard of this guy named X13? <laughs> <laughs> Right there. <laughs> okay, there's another good one. This guy is um I'm trying to think. Um, This guy, he, uh, he has a stuttering problem. Okay. And uh, he went to see a doctor. He's like, hey, doctor, 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 can you fix my stuttering problem? The doctor's like, why? You're pretty bad on stuttering. He's like, yeah, 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 I, I, I don't like it, you know, but but, but, but I have a 12-inch uh, inch long dick. And the doctor's like, well, let me see what I can do. So the doctor somehow find a way to fix his stuttering problem, but he cut his dicks cut half, cut a half off. So basically, take a six inch away from the guy. So the guy's pretty happy about it, you know. Now he start talking flu, no more stuttering. And uh, six months later, he's like, call the doctor. He's like, hey doc, you know, uh, I like it, you know, the stuttering problem is gone, but, you know, but my wife is not too happy about our sex life anymore. You know, uh, can I get back my six inch dick? You know, you cut it off. And the doctor's like, whoa, 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 I can, 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 can help you. <laughs> Snatch the cheese, ain't been caught once. The second mouse says, You ain't shit. In my neighborhood, all the cheese is covered in rat poison. I eat it anyway. It doesn't even amaze me. The third mouse finishes his drink, gets up to leave. He says, Hey man, where are you going? He says, I'm going home to fuck the cat. <laughs> <laughs> I got this one, I don't know if it's funny or not. So, um, this Chinese dude um, went to a bank, went to like a money exchange. He goes there today, uh, the yuan and the dollar is like one to eight, right? So, you know, he exchanged a bunch of money. 
from uh, 1 to 10. And a couple days later, he go back to the same money exchange. And he sees the rate. Like, hey, the rate's a little different. It's a little bit lower. So he exchanged a little bit more money. So um, the guy working the money exchange, he's an immigrant as well. So his English is very bad, you know. And the day later, on the third day, this guy go back to the same money exchange. He's like, hey, how come uh, the rate is consistently changing all the difference every day? So um, this European speak English with a very thick accent. This Chinese guy don't understand a damn thing what he's saying. So the, the, the European is like, well, you know, this is called fluctuation. And the Chinese guy's like, what? Fuck you, Asian? Well, fuck you too! <laughs> <laughs> hey, see fluctuation. Yeah. Tell them about the time we went into Popeye's chicken and saw that gay guy, the black guy. Oh my God. <laughs> this is a this is a true story. This, this is not is a joke. True story. This is a true story. Me and Dave went to a Popeye store, right? We were sitting down, ordering some fucking spicy chicken. Me and they were eating. All of a sudden, this big, huge gay black dude walked in. With the net shit, with the net shirt, with the fucking tie ass pants, with the snake charmer shit going on. And the whole package, you can pretty much see it. And the dude was kind of tall. So me and Dave were sitting down eating chickens, and this dude's standing right next to us. So his penis level is roughly around the table level. So me and him were looking at each other, all of a sudden we turn around, see this big old black dude. And you can see the shape of his fucking dick is like some kind of snake in there. <laughs> it was nasty. And all of a sudden, they're like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> I look at him like, I think that's a fucking dick in there. <laughs> and, and we, not the only guy, would notice that. Everybody in the shop, like even the employee, the clerk's like, how you doing, sir? <laughs> that was a ridiculous fucking that dude I think is some kind of a, like a fake or something but that shit looks like a some fucking doesn't look like some Guinness record shit it was so goddamn gigantic it was like make it like a <laughs> curve like you know up and down make a curve I think that guy put something in there that, that can't be fucking real that shit looks like a goddamn arm doing some kind of a <laughs> doing some kind of acrobatic in the pen or something. It doesn't look like a whale. That was a good one. The whole entire goddamn Popeye shop, everybody started like silent. <laughs> Nobody talked. That, yeah, he was sticking out like this far the whole package. It was like a like a snake charmer, like all curled up. Like a little bundled up, like so flexible, like <laughs> like a Phil Bush. <laughs> Flexibility, like you, <laughs> but in here. Any other joke, Bill? You gotta have a joke. How, how, how can birds fly upside down in Mexico? <laughs> I don't know. Because there's nothing worth shitting on. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Yeah. That's hardcore. Yeah. Oh, how can birds fly upside down in Mexico? There's nothing worth shitting on. That's perfect. Yeah. Uh, uh, I got, I got hella right, so, 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 so there's this, uh, this guy in Mexico and he keeps uh, riding his bike across the back and forth across the border and uh, the border patrolman checks what he has in his bike and all it is is just a big thing of sand and he goes you, you know you, you're, you're trying to uh, bring sand over into the US I'm sure they have sand over there he goes yeah, yeah, yeah I'm just riding my bike with some sand over there so this happens like every day and the, the border patrolman gets really suspicious because why would you keep you know going over the border with some sand he goes I know you're smuggling in something here, you know? And, uh, so fi finally he, uh, he sees him walking back after, like, uh, like three years of doing this. He goes, man, just, you know, I'm not gonna bust you or anything, but what are you smuggling in? He goes, 
You didn't figure it out, I'm smuggling bikes in. <laughs> I got I got a real good one here. Let's see I can pour off. So this married couple, um, the husband have a bad habit. He farts every fucking night when he goes to sleep. Like non-stop farting. And his wife's been complaining like, you need to stop farting when you go to sleep. It'll stink. One of those days you're gonna fart all the organs out of your fucking stomach. The guy's like, nah, not gonna happen. So every night he's basically farting like, and his wife's been suffering. And one of those days his wife can't take it anymore, right? So he, she woke up in the middle of the night. She's like, you know what? I'm not scared that motherfucker. He's just farting all night long. So he picked up a bunch of organs from the chicken, chicken organ, just throw it inside the bed. So, and then wake up in the morning, the husband woke up like, hey honey, I think you were right. What happened? I fart so hard last night. I fart everything come out of my ass, all my organs coming out. I said, like, really? He said, like, yeah, but I got most of them back in. <laughs> <laughs> He <laughs> pushed most of them back in. <laughs> I don't know. He used imagination. Actually, more more Asian joke than you know than a lot of other jokes. I forgot a lot of them. Mm -hmm. Like I heard so many goddamn jokes a lot about Asian people. Short, small, day can't drive, can't do this, can't do that. But I just can't pull any one of them off, you know. Right. So, uh, so there's this uh, this guy, uh, 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 Mr. McCoy in Ireland. And he's he's walking down and uh, he sees his priest. And the priest goes, oh, how are you doing there, Mr. McCoy? <laughs> so, uh, so, so you got any wee ones yet? He goes, uh, no, father. You know, uh, we, me and me, me and my wife, we've been trying a long time, and, you know, we just can't get lucky. Goes, oh, that's too bad. So he sees him uh, a couple years later. He goes, oh, Mr. McCoy, so you got any wee ones yet? He goes, no, father. You know, it's still no luck. <laughs> so, so, uh, so the priest goes, well, I tell you what, I'm going down to the, uh, I'm going down to the Vatican, and I'm going to light a candle for you. Maybe then you'll get some little, little oil. 
So uh, he comes back and he sees uh, Mr. McCoy about a year later and he goes, Oh, so Mr. McCoy, so you got any wee ones yet? And he goes, Yeah, I got ten. <laughs> ten children, my God, Mary and Joseph, that's wonderful. So uh, he sees him. Uh, he sees him a few years later. And he goes, uh, Oh, Mr. McCoy, how them ten wee ones doing? He goes, Father, it's sixteen now. Sixteen wee ones. My God, that's wonderful. <laughs> so a, a couple years later, he uh, he sees uh, Mr. Mrs. Mrs. McCoy, and uh, he goes, oh, Mrs. McCoy, how are them 16 wee ones doing? She goes, it's 27 now. <laughs> <laughs> and the father, the father goes, 27 wee ones, my God, uh, how's, uh, how's uh, Mr. McCoy? And, she, and the, Mrs. McCoy goes, oh, he's at the Vatican right now. And the priest goes, what's he doing at the Vatican? And, and Mrs. McCoy goes, to blow out that fucking candle. Blow out the fucking candle. Yeah, they light a candle for good for whatever prayer that they have. Uh, so the priest lit a candle and then they start having kids. So Mr. McCoy went to the Vatican to blow out the candle because they're having too many kids. Okay. Okay, now testing, testing. Gotta push, push up, push up. Can you hear me? Cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Stand up, Shane. Huh? No, it's not. I'm going to do one take. Um, Jamaican couple. 